Okay, I'm going to be doing a VOD review of the clubhouse game of the Navi versus Team Secret. They're two European Pro League teams. I noticed on your club, whenever you sent me clubhouse re VOD, re uh, whenever you sent me your club, your clubhouse VODs, you looked a little bit lost. And so this will help you kind of get a base idea of how to attack and how to defend each site, what operators are good, which ones aren't, but ultimately, and kind of see, kind of see which, uh, kind of see what works, what doesn't work. So a little bit of reference for this, uh, for this match right now, Team Secret was in eighth place and Navi was in seventh. And basically, if in Pro League, if you are in eighth place, you are auto relegated, meaning you're out of Pro League no matter what. However, if <coughs> however if you're in seventh place, then you get to fight for your spot against the number two challenger league team. So neither one of these teams wants to be in eighth place. So this is basically the biggest game of their, yeah, basically the biggest pro league game they have. In regards to their potential, the upside on secret might be higher heading into this match. You mentioned, Rob, that we had okay, oh, so, echo around at the last defender. Okay, so I'm going to go over the bans they did. So Capital overall, he is a very good operator. He is legitimately one, he brings some of the best utility and can make it just about impossible to hold a site if you play him correctly because you can't, because if you have to run through smoke, then you can't see and you can get gunned down. His fire, <clears throat> his fire makes it so that you can't run. Am I even actually recording? Hold on. Okay, Sam. So then his fire makes it so that you can't run through that either. So on something like cash, if you get control of the tops, if you get control of garage, then put those fire bolts and smokes down, and you can go for a plant. Then Maverick is very strong on clubhouse. He can get all the he can get all the hatches. <coughs> he can interrupt bandit tricks. He can basically like he makes every site, at least especially cash and um, cash and master. It makes it nearly impossible to bandit. Well, it makes it impossible to bandit trick. So banning him is very good. Well, not very good, but it if you don't want to deal, if you want to be able to bandit trick, and you have other ways of getting around the bandit trick, then banning him can hurt the enemy team. Uh, then Mira is a Mira. She's one of the strongest operators on Clubhouse. She's not run too much anymore, I want to say, but she's still a very strong operator. And then Echo, they, I mean, it's an Echo. Teams that want teams that can wait till the last 20, 10 seconds. They, if they have an Echo on the enemy team, then it's over. So they just a lot of teams don't like to deal with Echo. For ban, and that leaves us. With a pretty stick so, abs if Bonas wouldn't have see. to worry too much and <coughs> play very differently, knowing that you can kite the hatches and force where the, the Hibana can go. Okay, so now onto the operator lineup of each side. So Navi, from what I'm aware, they like to run double hard breacher just because it lets them open up more stuff and it gives them more utility and be a bit more flexible. So that's why they're running the Hibana Thermite. Then Thatcher, his his job is to be able to get rid of like the Cades because Cade isn't banned here so it, and Maverick is banned so they have no way of getting through hatches without a Thatcher. Then Zofia, they're bringing Zofia because she has a good amount of utility and also she can be used to stop the bandit trick on cash. And then Buck is Buck, he's one of the best operators. Well, yeah, he's one of the He's one of the most flexible operators because he can play vertically and the and that's very strong on the basement site when you're bucking above him from kitchen and if you can get control below of cash then you can also buck there <coughs> now <coughs> now for the defense there's they're going jaeger cade valkyrie bandit and smoke so the point of the Cade is to kind of be able to get a few more, uh, is to get be able to get a few more things electrified. The so Bandit is most likely most likely going to be Bandit tricking the they're on the they're going gym bedroom, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But the Bandit, uh, what is it? He's going to be he's mainly going to be Bandit tricking the 
the master wall then so if he's doing that he can't be going and using his bandit charges on anything else so that's why they brought caves a lot of teams they clear from cash you have to clear from cash in most scenarios so if you bring Cade, reinforce the cash wall then throw the Cade down it just it stalls out more requires more utility to get through so that's the reason for Cade and bandit jaeger you bring along because you need to be able to stop any nades because if Bandit's bandit tricking, he's staying in one spot and he's going to have a shield protecting him. However, one good nade, it's over. So that's why Jaeger's being brought. Smoke is smoke. He can delay 45 seconds. So in a three minute game, that's that's huge. And then Valkyrie's being brought for the Nitro Cell as well as the uh, information that she's providing. Now, they chose to go Master. And I'm not sure why, <coughs> because of the three, <coughs> oh, damn, sorry for the cough. <coughs> so, of the three really viable sites of Basement, Cash, and Master, Master is arguably the worst. So why they chose to go here first, I'm not sure. Maybe they were thinking, maybe they were thinking something like, if they think we're going to go like maybe they think we're gonna go basement first and because of that they won't bring a thermite so they won't be able to get the wall but navi i mean they run the thermite hibana together so they the thought process of going here i don't like it but that's what they decided to do Jim is not and, uh, yeah it's typically your tertiary bomb site if it so here's this is the cash wall they're reinforcing because most teams they're going to want to put they have to push and take control of cash from this wall because if they don't and they try to attack from these windows someone from cash can just go peek the windows and gun them if it ever comes out if you're having a weaker day on defense on clubhouse sometimes you won't ever end up there sometimes you're going back and forth on your arsenal and your cctv holds start things off with the so that shield you just saw sometimes you won't ever end up there sometimes you're going see. back and forth on and your arsenal this and your CCTV so this shield right here is so bandit can sit right here and bandit trick the wall if the shield is too far forwards then the enemy can actually see the bandit because your uh, your head will be just exposed over it however with it being right here it protects you from the drone hole as so you can't just toss a nade in there and you also uh it also protects you from the window so you can bandit trick here safely start things off with the third most played defensive site a bullet hole spawn peak coming up from me through a wooden barricade towards main gate it doesn't appear that anyone from navi has spawned there no so they'll they'll be safe you have four members all spawning by uh shipping docks just outside a strip club so Navi, they want to go and get this wall open as fast as possible. And right now, I'm confused as to why the bandit isn't the one bandit tricking there. Because Cade, he has two Electro Claws and Thatcher has three Thatchers. So you just have to, you can burn through all of the Cades. Now they're not they're deciding not to clear out cash, which is kind of a mistake. And everyone's a little confused, including me, as it's placed on the ground in the hallway. Okay. So right now they're kind of stalling out because they can't they couldn't get rid of this electro claw fast enough, and because of that, Secret made the call for the bandit to rotate back from cash to start bandit tricking this wall so Meepy can go do something else. Behind that deployable shield, instead of directly Okay, oh, yeah. so why there wasn't, I'm not sure if they burned the Jaeger devices or if there just wasn't any Jaeger devices here. However, you need them here, normally you need like two, because the Zofia, she went, Zofia was on this window, and then she sent her Zofia to destroy the shield, which makes it so you can't ban a trick anymore. So that you need Jaeger devices there. They most likely uh, they most likely got burned by the Thatcher, so that's what happened. But yeah, so basically, once that once the Jaeger ADSs were gone, the Bandit couldn't Bandit trick anymore because the shield got destroyed. 
send that deployable shield instead of directly on the wall. And LMN says, okay, I can't ban a trick, I'm just going to give it up. Which was smart. Okay, so right there, Leon, he peeked the cash window. So Leon peeked the cash window. I want to see if I can get a better view of it. So Leon was over here playing inside of Cash. He peeked this window and killed, I believe, Cryon. So Leon Gid just peeks. Fonkers gets a kill as well. I'm not sure where he was exactly. He was in Garage, so... My best guess is he had some he had some cheeky um, angle from garage onto the railing balcony area outside of master because that does exist and kill was able to kill rips from there. But this is what happens basically if you don't take cash first. So that was basically Meepy got droned, or they knew. Yeah, Meepy got droned. They knew he was playing there, and he and uh, Corey didn't cook his grenade enough. If he cooked it about half a second longer, he probably could have gone the kill there. So right now, Navi's just stalling out because they really don't know what to do because they have this wall open, but they can't clear out the bathroom because this is electrified and Hibana. Normally, you would thermite open this wall. Well, you not, not normally, but you can thermite open this wall, Hibana this wall, and it makes it so you can't play in bathroom. And because you can't play in bathroom, you have to. You also can't play in the B bomb site. It makes it possible to go for a plant. You, you know, depending on the setup, because if there's holes here, you really can't go for the plant, but... So now they're saying, okay, Navi's saying, okay, we need cash control, but they're kind of saying it at the two minutes into the game when they're down in a 3v5. So... And Leon is holding a, holding a pixel peak that you're not going to win that fight. If you try and take that pixel fight, you're gonna lose it. However, now Corey just comes over and hits a nice shot. So at this, it's now a 3v4 situation. However, they still have Fonkers on their own. And Stizzy has three of his gas canisters. So Team Secret should win this. So Corey's just face checking everything because he doesn't know where the enemy is. He is just pre-firing. So Fonkers is going for a flank. And however, he gets gunned right here. And we go back to Stizzy. And Stizzy's just laying down, so he gets gunned from that. Fonkers is look is trying to look outside cash, see if anyone's there. But they've managed to take a three versus five and turn it into a three versus two. So this is bad from secret. And chaos chaos kills Fonkers on the flank, and Corey gets the kill on Elements, who was stuck in bathroom because there was no way to rotate out. <laughs> so really. That was just bad. <coughs> that was just bad from Secret, where they kind of exposed themselves and didn't refrag anything, and because of that, they made it so that, yeah, that's really it. They lost. They just exposed themselves, didn't refrag, and lost because of it. They probably should have given the objective. They lost two members early and had to work their way out of a three. I wonder but, if it was just simply Secret. Now, Secret said, "Okay, we lost there, so let's go cash now," and. They're running the same setup they did the first time, except they're dropping out Cade for the mute. And the reason for that is you can 
with a mute you can stop a lot of drones because there's choke basically to get up into cash there's only chokeholds <coughs> so mute like mute can stop drones coming up the stairs coming from construction coming up garage stairs so you can block off the entire site with him from drones that they bring valkyrie for information they have Fonkers on Jaeger because you need to be able to stop grenades, bandit to bandit trick, and smoke to waste more time. And then I think it's the same, yeah, exact same setup coming from Navi. They just let, they like this setup because they can do basically everything with it. They may not, it may not be as good in some situations. However, overall, it is a good setup. So right now, step one of the offense, open up cash wall. So they're going to be droning it out, seeing whether or not somebody is going to be bandit tricking. And then the reason why Corey is watching back there is it's possible for people to, well, it's, it's Team Secret, they will have times where they have some aggression and you can run outside of the cash door and get an angle onto people front who are trying to thermite the wall or Hibana open the wall of garage so that's why he's there so you gets drones so he relocates Jaeger's playing rafters, and right now they're just setting up to open up the wall. So this is where the Zofia comes in. What what she's doing right now is she burns the she burns the ADS, and yeah, she burns the ADS, and then she uses her concussion life mines, lifelines, because. If you watch here, nobody is really trying to use their influence on Navi into the So basically, she sends one of her concussions to clear out an ADS. She then sends another her um, other charge, the explosive one, in order to clear out the second charge. I mean, she used her she used an uh, she used its actually no, I don't think she did use it somewhere else. She just wanted to save it. <coughs> So she then sends her third one, which would be a concussion. So she basically sends concussion, grenade, then concussion. And she burns the ADS with that. And that then allows, that interrupts the bandit bandit tricking. So if Thatcher threw his grenade, took out the bandits, bandits, <coughs> bandits then sitting there trying to bandit trick, the concussion interrupts the bandit putting down his gadget as the thermite charge is going down which t screws up the timing so the thermite charge can go off without without uh without being bandit tricked this is kind of the way you do it if there's no maverick So, this is the setup they have. Right now, Lazo's watching this angle right here for the Jaeger to peek, because you can you have to hold rafters basically to hold this site. This reinforcement right here exists so that Lazo can't just shoot through here, which would take off the majority of the railing you can play on. And then there's a rotate hole right here so that you don't have to go in through the window. So now they're saying we want to take garage control, which they're probably it's probably taking a bit too long. You have a minute left, and Fonkers just has to hit one good shot. But then they also have Valkyrie down below backing up. They have Meepy on the Valkyrie backing up the Jaegers so that if they 
start shooting Fonkers and he has to go into cover and they push in, Meepy gets the kill. Now Lazo was just peeking, Lazo was just, uh, no, Lazo, when he peeked that, you have the Zofia there, and I'm not sure if this is the Hibana, I'm trying to see, no, okay, so Lazo is outside, which is that angle that I was showing you from Garage, where Fonkers went a little bit too far to the left, and because of that, he was exposed to the window from the wall and gets gunned from there. So now Navi, they want to they want to walk in. Meepy just hits a nice shot there. And then he says, and then he says, okay, I won my fight. I'm just going to get out now. I'm going to get back to site and just hold it because they just want to condense. If they are condensed, they can refrag easier, and they aren't going to be exposing themselves to one v ones. So now they're just they're just holding now. So you have, I think it's smoke on the stairs, who's holding. If someone tries to come up the stairs, he gets gunned. He can then throw his smoke canisters to stop anyone from entering through the main wall of B. You have Elements who's holding an angle on the uh, on the wall as well. You then have Leon still playing below. He has a Nitro Cell with a Mute. And you have Meepy playing inside of A, ready to basically just react. You still have Stiz with all three Toxic Babes remaining. You've got Nitro Cell in the back pocket of Meepy as well. Leon taking a contestion downstairs inside. So one thing. This is bad. He has utility, which he hasn't used. This is basically half his utility. And the bulletproof cam, I mean, they have a strat for that. I'd prefer the Nitro Cell if you're playing below, but because you have three Valkyrie cameras already. So I'm not sure what the... I'm not sure the reasoning for that. But then Leon just hits a nice shot. And now it's a two versus four. Eight seconds. And they just have to... They hear the nitro cells coming out. They have to just run away. Well, that, yeah, basically they hear the nitro cells coming out as they're planning here, trying to run through here, get a gunfight, lose it, and the round's over. And that's all it is. So, let's see. Okay, so now Team Secret decides they want to go back to cash because they honestly did a pretty good job of holding it the first time, except for the last 40 seconds where they blew a 5-3 lead. So, let's see. So, basically they're just going to be reinforcing this so that Normally people reinforce this, normally they expend more reinforcements in cash, where they reinforce this and this, which lets them play inside of cash. But Team Secret has their own strat they want to do. So they're kind of adding just rotate holes right here, so if, someone, if someone's playing stairs, they can rotate into cash and just run out if they want to. They have this reinforced over here. This is reinforced. I'm not sure the purpose of this one. Normally it'd go here, so I'm not sure if that's just a mistake or if there's actually a reasoning for it. Then this is reinforced so they can't, so that you can't just open this up and then cut off the, all the rotations. Saying that it's nice to be in a position where he can kind of quell the doubters who thought that maybe was a little bit, but was also so, allowing the rest of his team. Now this round, unlike the first one, Navi says, okay, we have to clear out cash first because that's how they're, that's how they're going to hold it, and if we don't, we're just going to get gunned as we, uh, from multiple angles. So, first step, they want to they want to take garage control, or at least make sure that's safe. They know Bandit's bandit tricking, and they know Jaeger's playing inside of. They know Jaeger's playing inside of cash, so. Now Elements gives it up. So why? Why Elements just gave it up right there, I don't know. He because he, it looked like someone made the call, hey, I need you to rotate back over to Master to Bandit Trick the Wall. But they had both of the hard breachers over on this side, so I'm not sure what the 
I'm not sure what was going on with the call. So now cash has opened up. They reinforce this so that they can hold inside of cash. And now they're just holding. So they're trying to just open up cash. And okay, so this is basically this is kind of the issue with playing the stairs, where someone's playing the stairs over here to the right on the pixel, and they Navi knows that, so they send the buck in to nade him out. However, he gets gunned by Leon. This is kind of a weird aggression, because nobody would ever think that once this wall is open, Jaeger's gonna run out of cash, which is reinforced. And go for a kill and yes he did yes he does get the kill however he gets he gets refragged because there are two people holding an angle and he does light up lazo so now it's a 4v4 it's equalized so crying just hits a nice shot there and then bandit gets droned out and LMNs get gunned because Cash Room got opened up from this wall just to the right of Lazo. So Cash Room, you can't hold it anymore. So LMNs, he stayed, stayed as welcome. <laughs> he stayed as welcome a little bit too long and got killed because of it. So now the LMNs is set up, I mean, secret set up to kind of stop this cash push. But they're in a 4v2 situation now, so it's, they're not in a, they're not in a good spot. So right now Rips is just trying to apply pressure. Meepy gets droned out and goes for the drone, and KS just KS just frags him because he was aiming at the drone, then had to correct that in order to try and get the thermite who dropped. And with that, I mean, KS had a pretty easy kill there. He knew the positioning, and Meepy was out of place. So now it's a one versus four. Secret's probably gonna lose this. So really that was just, Stiz had to make a play or he would 100% lose and so he tried to do a run out hoping that the guy had fallen back here. He didn't because and he couldn't see that so he gets gunned. Like there's not much he can do. Okay. So now there, Team Secret said okay we got, we won on, we won on cash so we can't go there. We lost twice on master so we shouldn't go there so the only other real option is to go basement since nobody will run the uh, bar so now they're setting up so they're putting two reinforcements in cash this is so that they can't they have to actually waste utility to get into cash and you know if somebody does go into cash you can't really silence breach it then this reinforcement right <clears throat> Dang, I saw something in my throat. So this reinforcement right here is so that an Ash or Zofia can't just, or a Buck can, can't just open this wall and walk in. Because people want to play here when the, yeah, people want to play here when the mat, when the kitchen hatch gets opened. Because you can't really play any of this area, but you can kind of play right here. So you can get a bit of a crossfire with someone holding K9 and someone holding here in case they drop. There's also normally a rotate hole right here, so people from <coughs> people from uh, church can shoot in if someone drops. So you have multiple crossfires. Now Leon's gonna be playing blue, I believe. He's setting up some Jaeger devices so that if somebody tries to nade him out of here, they can't. And then this wall gets reinforced right here. And then they're getting hatches. So Joys of Cades, DMR. Okay. So now this, the reason he's making the the reason he's making a kill hole right here. Well, this no, it's not a kill hole. 
The reason he's making a hole right here is if you throw an impact grenade up and hit the bottom of this, any Hibana pellets on here will be destroyed. So if you can destroy, you can waste, depending on how many impacts you have, they're running smoke who might have them. Um, they have elements who does have them. So they have at most four impact grenades. So if there is three Hibana pellets, then they can get all of them. And KS probably won't be wasting a thermite charge on that hatch. Well, not wasting, but using. Back on the Kaid roll from the trim bedroom defensive position, and he'll be looking to Kaid to hatches. You also open up so there's the kind of two setups that are used for defense in for church. The first is a roaming setup where they try and basically hard hold cash, and they put two people in cash, three down in basement, and the whole point is to waste time in cash, forcing a roam clear. Our elements is. Yeah, Elements is just going to be going back to site. However, you do have Fonkers playing above with Leon. So Fonkers gets a kill. I'm not sure how he gets Cryon. Yeah, I'm not sure how he got that kill. I'm really not. My best guess, you know, I really don't have any guess. However, so Buck comes up here and opens up this to get a kill hole onto this doorway to kind of make it kind of just, if someone peeks him or tries to run through the doorway, he can get the kill. Now, Fonkers, the thing is, he, he's, they're in a 5v4 man advantage now, Team Secret. So, Fonkers should not be peeking this. So, he peeks this, he gets gunned, and 30 seconds in, yeah, now it's a 4 versus 4, sure. But, you only wasted 30 seconds. You can be doing much better. So, he should have been playing a lot more passively. So, I don't know what his thought process was right there. <coughs> Secret, you still have two outside of the objective right now. You've got Leon and you've got a lens. Leon will be droned out now inside of bars. So Leon gets droned out and he rotates from upstairs and I think he goes back to I think he goes back to basement. Yes he does. So the reasoning for that what <coughs> dang this I have some in my throat, sorry about this. So the reason Leon went back to site is he kind of said, okay, with only one person up here, I'm not going to be able to roam effectively. They know I'm up here already, so I'm at most going to be able to waste maybe another 30 to 45 seconds before I get killed. So I'm just going to say screw it and go back to site. Now if Fonkers was still alive, then he probably would have stayed upstairs. Clear out some barbed wire at range, open up a few kill holes on the floor, but you have Cory for kill holes. You've got Cory with nades. So they're still droning everything out. And now minute in minute twenty in, they begin bucking open the floor in order to get angles. So this is the pixel peak that was opened up by the Cade that the point of it is to get the impact grenades off. And Buck right now is trying to stop that. He's trying to get into a position. He's trying to get into a position where he can uh, contest that angle. However, he exposes himself because he probably didn't know about the pixel peak and just he didn't know that he was exposing himself. So he's trying to nade right here since some people like to play just by this door so that they can swing out and peek the hallway. And because of that, he's trying to nade that. However, the LMN sees that and he sees part of him and just kills him. <laughs> so, the point of these holes made by Stizzy, the smoke, is if you throw an impact grenade up here, you the explosion radius can destroy the thermite and Hibana charges. So it's it's impact tricking. Okay, so this is kind of bad from, like, it's kind of bad coordination. Not, It's not really Alazo's fault. He, like, he was pre-aiming here, and then KS just happens to walk by as Alazo's trying to, well, not just happens, but basically, KS wasn't waiting right here. And so Lazo was just holding, he was waiting for the timing of the EMP, and 
in the end he hits he hits chaos with them he then peeks a Cade who's hold who's holding a very small angle and gets gunned for a 70% of his HP so Hibana tries to peek that angle again and loses it Thermite tries to thermite it open twice each time it gets impact tricked so now they have no way into the church wall then Chaos hits some sh hits shots, Meepy doesn't. So it's a 2 versus 3 now. Leon Peaks gets a kill on Chaos. Now 30 seconds left, it's a 1 versus 3. It just really shouldn't be losable for Secret. And there's a crossfire setup where Elements, the Le the uh, is he? The Legion. He was playing high, kind of holding. He was standing up and holding an angle, while Leon was laying down and holding an angle. And Elements gets the kill. So basically, that entire that round was basically Navi couldn't stop the impact tricking, and they just lost bodies because they had to then kind of funnel themselves down tight ang tight corridors. So that's what happens. So now they're saying, let, so now Secret's saying, let's go cash again. And they're running the same setup they did the, fir the first time. It will actually, no, they dropped the Valkyrie for a Maestro. Watch well, I need to see. Let me see once. No, okay, they switched back to Valkyrie using the sixth pick. Then on the, what is it? On Navi's side, they switched Buck to IQ since their Buck wasn't really too effective. So they're starting, they get their setup all good. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get a good view. Okay, so they reinforced these four panels of garage so that they have to, Navi has to either waste utility to come in or they have to, uh, yeah, they have to waste utility to come in or they just have to say we're not going to waste utility there. Now they have two hard breachers so they're probably going to open that. Then barbed wire on the stairs so that you get a sound cue if someone tries to come up. They're opening up the bottom of this so that if somebody tries to enter through stocks, someone in bar can shoot. Because that's my thought process with it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I've never really seen it used too effectively. And then these two reinforcements are used right here. They're always used. This one is used on the left. The left panel is used right here so that you can... Uh, you so that it cuts off angles to from here to roughly this general area right here. So if I let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine, and I'm not sure where number ten is. So Leon's just trying to stop the drones with his stuff, make it so they have to spend more time, be a little bit more cautious with their roam clear. Last time around, what happened with Navi was that they just stacked up too much inside of Garage. They didn't have enough of a push on construction as teams do when they run out of numbers. So now Corey opens the main door. He's trying to get an angle onto here to cut off any rotations and apply pressure on people playing below. He's going to be back on that old familiar role of Valkyrie. So if I'm Navi, my biggest focus is finding those Valkyrie cameras because they were your undoing. Not only giving information to the rest of the team, but also causing so much chaos. And now they're waiting. Navi's waiting for the... Navi's just waiting for to try and put down a Hibana and a Thermite charge at the same time. Because if you do it at the... If you do it correctly, it's... You can't... The Bandit can't get both. Navi. Now, this is something that you've seen a couple times. Not putting himself in a position where he could have been... Immobile for a second there, shooting his own Bandit battery. So, they, the Hibana opens up a kill hole on the right wall, the Thermite Thermite's the left wall, and the Zofia concussions the bandit so he can't bandit trick. So bandit just gives it up and the wall gets open. That's kind of just a methodical thing that Navi's does. Bonkers taking about 50 HP, but the wall does eventually get open. 
opened up here in chaos. Snap to rotate over to the garage <coughs> panels now. Try and open those up. Your typical progression for clubhouse. So with the wall open, now Thermite's going to go and Thermite open the garage wall so that they can rotate into that. At least I think that's what he's going to do. Yes. However, Leon then says, Leon, I'm not sure if he hears that. I'm not sure if they get a call out or I'm not sure if he just goes aggressive. He says, okay, I'm going to go and, like, they open this door. They're probably not holding an angle anymore. I'm going to go and he guns down KS and then gets instantly refragged from Corey, who should have been holding an angle on this door, but for some reason wasn't, and that's why KS died. So now Garage isn't going to get opened. And now this is kind of the setup that's going on. So Hibana opened up this, Thermite opened up this, Lazo's holding an angle through here so that he can try and kill Fonkers. Fonkers is at half HP, he probably took a bullet or two from Lazo. And then Kryon is kind of trying to get into a position to contest Fonkers because with this railing right here, it's very hard to contest someone, especially if they're holding a pixel peek. And another thing to note is you don't want to be peeking from this side because your shadow is going to be going in this direction. So Fonkers right now can see Kryon's shadow as he wants to peek. Stizzy is then playing the stairs so that he can contest if they try and plant, if they try and just run in, or if they try and come up the stairs. And then Elements is playing inside the A bomb site. His job is more just reactionary, where if somebody tries to come in through construction, he kills them. If somebody kills Stizzy, he can go and rotate down to hold here. If they try and jump in and plant B, then he can kind of run over here, maybe shoot shoot someone if they're holding an angle here, get stop the plant from going down right here, the default spot. So he's kind of just a, re a reactionary position. <coughs> now, this is something that I've never seen before. McCryan just says, okay, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to Zofia using my grenades to, to down the Fonkers because he was at half HP. So they probably made a call, hey, Fonkers is a low or Yeg's a low in Garage. So Kryon makes a good call there and uses his utility to down the Jaeger. However, he doesn't know because points are off. So if someone does try to rush upstairs and collect this kill, Meepy is in a good position. Then Meepy's holding below garage. So Meepy's just holding an angle, waiting for someone to run up the stairs. He's gonna rely a lot on the lems and stiz, but 15 seconds of smoke is smoking. Then they didn't have garage control, so El Navi just tried to walk in through construction with Corey, and he gets gunned. Now, okay, so it's a four versus three situation. So, Meep is playing oil drums, Stizzy is playing on top of the stairs, and Bandit's playing in side of uh, inside of A. So, uh, let's. I want to get that little frame right there to see what happened. Okay, so, okay, no, so Element, so Elements is playing up here. I think that Smoke is playing right here. <coughs> yeah, I think Smoke rotated down to be playing underneath because they had kill holes set up in the default plant spots. So, I think that's what he did, and he gets killed by the Zofia crouch walking from Garage. So now it's a four versus two. <coughs> Corey then tries to come in through the. Uh, Corey tries to come in through construction and gets killed. Now Meepy, uh, there's 
It's a three versus two, but in all honesty, it's a three versus one because Meepy at eight seconds is holding an angle on the stairs. So this is just that's kind of, this is pretty bad from his part, and I think that they I think Navi knew that, so Lazo just hits his shots there, gets the plant going down. Meepy then my best guess is he wanted to play below but if he's playing below why is why did the smoke come to play below as well i don't know and valkyrie pings and they probably make the call out he's on ping and meepy's like okay there's gonna be one ping i need to make this c4 count because it's already halfway gone he then looks he's like wait which one is it and he tries to correct but misses his nitro cell it's wasted. Oh, no. Yep, and because of that, plant goes down. It's a three versus one, and Secret is going to lose this now because of that. So he's just going to get gunned. So basically, just a bad call out, bad nitro cell, and some bad rotations is what killed Secret this round. Yep, and that's a good done. Okay, so this is the last round of defense. Now, one thing about the meta in uh, Pro League is it is defender-sided, meaning you want to be winning at minimum half of your defenses. And at, really at best, the best you can hope for normally is a 5-1. If you're, if you're really feeling it, you're going to get a 4-2. However, a lot of time is going to be a 3-3. So this is a round that Navi has, I mean, Secret has to basically win. Because if they have to go and attack Clubhouse, which is already defender-sided, then it's going to be just bad for them. Now, they're, they're saying to go cash again. And this is good because they're not, they can win cash. They're just making bad calls at the end, which are kind of killing them. So they get their garage reinforcements done. They're gonna get their mute jammers set up to try and just waste some more utility, more time. Rips is just checking spawn peaks, and they're getting a position to. They claim we're off this door so that nobody can run out of here and shoot up on this balcony area. They're sending chaos and rips over here instantly. And if I'm sure the Hibana is going to open up a portion of the garage before she comes over to help Chaos. Now Leon's roaming over by Strip Club. So at this point, Navi's, they're just droning, they're getting their bearings, figuring out what's happening, where what type of defense Secret's pulling out. And then they're bringing over the two hard breachers and the Thatcher in order to take out the, in order to just open up the wall. So, Navi's doing the exact same thing they always do, where they, Zofia the, yeah, they just Zofia the bandit so that they can open up the wall, and they put two hard breachers, so even if the Zofia doesn't work, then they can still open the wall partially, but wall gets open. So wall gets opened. And now Leon, so this is kind of bad aggression, so to speak. There's no real reason for Leon to be peeking this. So there, there really isn't. There, because if really this just puts their team down, like maybe you get a kill sure, but the 
the defense has no reason to peek. They are, they can they have the luxury of waiting because the timer's on their side. So they just have to be they just need to be playing around the plant while the offense needs to be actually going for the frags, going for the kills, playing aggressively, exposing themselves. So why Leon in this situation decided to peek, I don't know. And I mean Corey just hits a good shot on him. Wow. But yeah, so now Leon's dead. <laughs> so now they're pretty sure Master's clear, so they're going to enter there. Absolutely incredible shot there too. And as long as you can manage Leon, as we said, Secret's chances go down quite drastically. Meepy has been able to carry one round, but that's really been it. As for the rest of Team Secret, there hasn't been a lot of so Navi right now is setting up for kind of a dual push where they can push partially through here and then partially through construction however they still haven't cleared out ra the railing area which is kind of worrisome give them an advantage just on the way that clubhouse tends to play out so expect big things from Fonkers and Meepy on this round as Alems and Stiz will likely just hold ground on the site so Fonkers is trying to set up for a run out Corey kills the kills Meepy who is playing below um but Stizzy retrades onto Lazo, who I'm not sure where he was. And then Fonkers is trying to refrag the Fonkers is trying to refrag the IQ, who killed the Valkyrie below. Then Rips just walks in and guns down Stizzy the smoke. And now it's a 4v2. And as Navi continues on this demolition of secret, see one both body. So Really, that was just the story of Elements missed his shots on Corey. Corey hit his shots. Gets refragged, but it's a 3v1 and your Jaeger, so. Yep, and now, Secret loses because basically they, they expose themselves kind of at... So I understand their strategy they're going for here. They want to be able to play below to either force the roam clear or to, uh, if they try and go for a plant, they can nitro cell or just shoot them from below. However, it's not working for them. It's really not. They're losing too many bodies without refragging and trading out, trading themselves out. And because of that, they're just they're just getting they're losing because of it so now it is a four versus two on clubhouse and yeah so now they're down four two on a map which is arguably it's defender sided already uh the mavericks band so it becomes even more defender sided and their only real defensive wins i believe came from i think one cash and one basement out of so two out of the six rounds that's really not good in a defender sided meta and a lot of that was just they exposed themselves to angles that they really shouldn't have had a bit of aggression that they shouldn't have and that's really it so really they needed to go back and work on their strats for holding cash because it looks like they can hold it they're not terrible at it but they need to make some adjustments to it and with that, I will be back in a minute or so. I need to go to the restroom. Right, I'm back. So now, side switch. So, really the same setup from both teams where, well, I have to wait to see what they actually switch to. 
also just the uh, the minuscule timing effects. Okay, so my best guess is that Secret saw the call, made a call saying, okay, they're not going upstairs based on this lineup of the defenders. So if based off of that, they will, they switched out the Zofia for an IQ to, I mean, she can counter a large amount of utility. She can counter Bandit. She can counter Alibi, Valkyrie, and Legion. So really they're probably saying, okay, we want these Valkyrie and Legion cameras gone. So run IQ. We'll keep running. Uh, we'll keep running the Buck because he's very useful here. Hibana and Thermite to kind of have some repetitive hard destruction. Elements to, in case they switched off to Cade, and then IQ to counter utility. So Lazo goes for a pre-prep Nitro Cell. My best guess is that. Yeah, so that's meant so that if they open up the if they open up the cash wall for a roam clear, which a lot of teams will do, they will walk in and get blown up. <laughs> so by the looks of it, they're Cryon and Rips will be roaming upstairs while the other three will be holding downstairs. So it looks like they're that right now secrets they're going to be going for a roam clear. They say, okay, we know that these two are roaming, so we need to cut them off. If we can do it correctly, we'll be in a 5v3 situation, at which point we can just refrag for the wins. So Elements has controlled garage in case I mean, controlled bar in case someone wants to go through there. They drone out the master area. And Fonkers is holding below cash stairs. So basically, it is impossible for the uh, for the defenders and cash to rotate out now, and they're gonna have to just go for fights. However, for some reason, it looks like. It looks like they don't. It looks like Secret doesn't even know that they're roaming or that they were going for something else and like a call was just made. Hey, they're playing in cash. So Leon gets gunned. And then Meepy loses half his health from Rips holding an off angle. Yeah. So this is just basically, I think that Secret, they didn't clear out cash. And we're setting up to go for an attack on the basement. They then get the call. Oh, hey, they're holding cash, guys. And because of that, everybody kind of rotated around too quickly and got caught out of positioning. And now they're in a five versus three situation. Rips gets another kill. So, yeah, this is just bad. This is just a bad roam clear from Secret, where it's now a five versus two, five versus one. And Stizzy gets a kill, but it's a 4v1, it's over. So this was basically just Team Secret. They didn't know there was a roam they didn't know there was a roaming presence. And they said, okay, I'm we're just going to we're gonna go, we're gonna set up oh hey guys, they're in cash. Everyone runs around now trying to set up because they're they've already wasted a minute, minute and a half. And now they're going for the yeah, now they're they get gunned when they're out of positioning. So it's over. So now Navi says they want to go into the gym bedroom. And they have a lot of the same setup except they dropped the Valkyrie from which I can't say that yet because we have to go through Okay, so Okay, so basically Navi uses the same setup as Secret does for their defense, except instead they drop the Cade for a castle. And Team Secret says they don't want to run Zofia, they want to keep the IQ. So that's there. That's there, so. So what is Navi bringing as long as all times that hinges upon a mirror being available, given that it's EU, very rare that you'll see a mirror make it through the ban phase intact. And in this matchup, lo and behold, Navi has removed her from the equation. Okay, so this is the setup that Navi wants to do. They want to hard hold the cash room as much as possible. 
So they're reinforcing everything with it. So they have these two reinforced, these three reinforced, this reinforced. So they have they have six of their reinforcements right here. They're leaving this soft because if this is soft, there's I mean, they're gonna open this no matter what. So their thought process is if we can hard hold this better, then we can we can waste more time, get some picks. Then they have another two reinforcements over here which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm not sure where the other two are. That's exactly where Rips is standing, a full fortification on all of the walls, and possibly some castle barricades that might be able to slow down any advance from the attackers. Bandit batteries going down in the cash side, two leading into CCTV, and it really appears that Navi are gonna go all in on holding Secret off as much as possible. Over so cash wall gets opened. Fonkers has taken control of Garage, and so they're going for a push on to... They're going for a push on a cache. They're going to roam clear this thing first. I mean, it's not really a roam clear. They're hard holding it, but they're clearing cache. Then Leon is going below in order to start bucking up. That sounded like a breaching round, and Secret are now able to walk on in. They also have control of Garage, so their next obstacle is going to be push out those bandit batteries and push anybody from Secret playing inside, or Navi playing inside. So that's kind of just a trick that people can do. You're going to see the hit hole from a pretty good, from far away. However, if you do those three, four bullets, you can peek through there. However, you're not going to see that. Cash hole last time in the push coming up from secret with so they have a maestro cam set up in case they try and Hibana open the wall. They have bandit charges already on the wall. And I'm pretty sure, yep, they have holes opened up above so they can throw impacts here to destroy anything on the wall. However, Secret sees that, so they say, okay, we're just going to go open up another side. Buck is bucking below. And now Cash gets open from here, which forces Corey to kind of play on this table. And Castle had to rotate out. So there's really no way for Rips to... There's really not too... It's not really possible for Rips, the Castle, to support this... To support Corey here. Because he can't play anywhere over here. He also can't play anywhere over in this area. Because of... Uh, you have a door, and then he can't play anywhere over here because the uh, the floor, the wall got opened up, and you don't want to play him here because if you put two people in very close proximity, one bad nade, and it's over. Now, Cryon was trying to go for a flank on the buck. Navi made the call out, hey, the buck is bucking cash from below. Can Kryon go? Yo, know, yeah, you can go flank, and so he does that. However, there may have been a flank drone set up, or someone made a call out, or Leon was just holding an angle, and now Kryon gets killed. Then Stizzy gets the kill on the bandit. I'm not sure what angle he used for that. Okay, so the wall right here was opened up as well. So. Yeah, I'm trying to see how the wall was opened. Okay, so this was opened up by the Hibana. So when Bandit ran into here, he was dead because you can just get a pixel shot on the here. So with this wall and that wall opened up, it is now impossible to hold inside of um, cash. Finally, this cash hold is starting to fall. One by one, all of Navi's members continue to bail out and get cut off. Peaks again from Rips so, and Lazo. So Stizzy picked the, uh, he peeked the window onto Lazo construction and Lazo was just backing up his teammate and got the kill. Stiz at the connector window. It's battling back time here for Navi as they look to lock this out and guarantee themselves a point, but they're at the man disadvantage to do so. 
Maybe still hasn't been able to get inside of cash. We've got Leon downstairs. So Leon's waiting for drones to start bucking. Knowing that you've likely got construction under lock and now he said, okay, I'll probably be more effective if I go and apply pressure. So he starts, he shoots the cam and then runs away. The reasoning for that is that applies pressure because they know someone's on stairs because they just shot the cam. They got rid of the camera, so that's information that Navi doesn't have. And then he said, okay, there's multiple angles I'd have to fight and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to give it up and go below and go a different direction. Then he goes back up. You kind of realize, hey, there's not much I can do below. May as well go up. I can just wait. Then Fonkers is rappelling upside down and just hits a nice shot onto Lazo. Leon then just walks in and guns down Rips. Gets killed by KS, who then gets killed by Elements. So really, that round was uh, Navi. They invested. They invested two bodies in cash. Well, they basically invested everything into cash. Lost cash, and after that, they were at a man disadvantage, so they couldn't hold what they needed to. And because of that, the secret could just kind of just walk in and go for frags. So now they're going to CCTV and Rips shows the castle pick and then goes to Legion. The reasoning for that is if they he goes castle, then Seek might think, okay, we're going uh we're going cash again. At the end of the day, <coughs> aren't losing as many members on the push, and Secret isn't even caring about the sixth pick. And you're able so, to actually identify and lock down those members of the defense for not Secret just likes the setup they have. Last time around it was crying on the alibi that took every fight imaginable in one. And so don't get caught up with so really, it's the same setup coming out from both teams for cash. It, cash really doesn't have that much of a different setup. It's more where you put your bodies. So you have your two reinforcements there, another two right there, one right here, two here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten right here. So those are your ten reinforcements. You put a rotate hole right here. You sometimes have a rotate hole up here, which you can use to shoot people. Not always, though. It's also not too common. Jaeger device is by the window. <coughs> this Jaeger device is so you can't just chunk nades into here. And yeah, it's roughly the same setup. Barbed wire goes on stairs. Uh, the evil eye below is to see whether or not they I think it's mainly meant to see if people are going to be pushing below and if they're going to be pushing up these stairs. And then I'm not sure exactly the purpose of the one in garage. Maybe they're saying we're not going to be able to hold garage, so that can give us information. But if, I mean, once they have control of garage, it's, I mean, it's not going to be able to do much once they open the wall because they can just go for a plant and that's not going to be too useful. It could possibly be used for a flank, kind of like a flank drone where they put it down and then they say okay they're not going to waste a grenade on it so if we put it down here we can say or not someone's watching their back so exact reason I'm not sure but you know there's still an advantage that the attackers gain from that unfortunately for Navi they lost two bodies in the process so I would imagine that if secret can replicate that this is just to kind of force out uh, some shots I'm not sure why that's just why that's barricaded but it is So Stizzy is on Thermite, he's just waiting. Like, there's not much he can do. So, these little slits are open so that they can throw impacts up here to destroy the Hibana pellets. Because a lot of the time, Hibana will open up this part of the wall right here. And by doing that, you get an angle onto the rafters on the right side over here, above here. So that's just the purpose of that. It's kind of... It's very, used, very, it's very, always opened, very, very, it's always opened, but I never really see it being utilized for kills very often. So Meepy's just saying, I'll use all my utility here. And then Fonkers, I'm not even sure where Fonkers is, I'm guessing he's outside, yeah. So Fonkers was just holding an angle, and 
KS was KS's impact tricking right in this corner, so he's not exposed to here. He impact tricks, then says, "Okay, opening this up, I now have to move." But this door's open, so he gets gunned as he tries to run away. And now a minute in, and your smoke is gone. So it's kind of just like there was never really a point in doing the in doing the impact tricking there because it exposes you so much that if someone's not playing grafters, watch a door, then you're just gonna get gunned. That's exactly what happened. Leon, then, I'm not sure where Corey was. Let's see if I can get a. My best guess is Corey was playing on top of the. Okay, no, so Corey was bandit tricking right here for the wall, and as a and so Leon because they have the because they have bottom control, he just bucked up, switched to his gun and shot the shot Corey. And as he was doing that, Stizzy was putting down his charge. So basically, charge goes down. Sti so charge, thermite charge goes down. So bandit, bandit tricks. Leon then opens up the floor, and bandit's in the middle of bandit tricking, and so he gets gunned because of it. So that's just that's just good teamwork on secret side. Leon then wins a fight that he really shouldn't have there. Lazo just loses it. However, that is. That is just basically, that's what makes a good player, where you can come out on top in a situation you shouldn't. And so now it's a two versus five because of Leon. Crying hits a nice shot there. And Rips kills Leon. So they've kind of equalized from a 2v5 to a 2v3. Like we could have gotten alive in that situation. So Secret really... T uh, so Meepy was holding an angle and just lost his fight against Kryon. It happens. Kryon hit a nice shot. Meepy I think Meepy, yeah, Meepy didn't. And so that's that's the end of that story. And then Leon, he, he pushed his way in and kind of overextended a bit. Like he's already basically in sight, so it's not surprising for him to overextend a bit. However, he got two kills, so he's done his job, and the wall's open, but his team wasn't really backing him up. And now they're trying to get garage control because they're not sure where the Jaeger went. So, so they open up that wall to kind of... Well, not kind of. They open up that wall... Well, I'm not sure why they opened it because it doesn't look they're, like they're utilizing it. It seems like they know there's a Jaeger playing down here, but they're not sure. Uh, not sure how they want to contest it, so they just open it and say, "Okay, hopefully he runs away." Unless they read in the fact that Rips is on site all alone, this is an opportunity for Secret to just find what little is left of Cryon, which isn't much. And, and like, and just okay, so I think what the call, I think what they, the call made was. Is they said okay, Kryon's in garage, but he's playing bottom of the garage. So if we just if we just throw bodies at sight, we can kill Rips and just take it. So Rips hits a shot on Elements and then Stizzy Reef trades. This is what basically Secret needs to be doing, which they kind of weren't, where they can uh, they can someone goes down, but they're they're traded out. So now it's a one versus two, but Fonkers was downed by the Jaeger because I'm not sure what Fonkers was doing exactly, but he goes down. So one v one situation. So Kryon kills Fonkers so that he can't. So Fonkers can't be giving information. And Stizzy falls back so that he, so because in Pro League, a defusal takes 7 seconds, and you're making noise for all of it, so you can tell if someone's going to stick it or if they're faking. So with that, he's getting into a, into a post-plant situation, in a post-plant position, where he can basically just protect the diffuser. Because if he tries to hold inside of A, you have someone, you can come through the rotate hole, or you can come through the doorway. However, here, if he's holding here, there's only one doorway. 
So now he just has to hold an angle. So so based on the diffuser placement, Kryon says, okay, he's probably he's gonna be playing inside of this room somewhere. Okay, so Kryon baited out the diffuser and because of that, Stizzy had to shoot. So Stizzy shot, which gave away his position, and Kryon then went for the gunfight. But because he was a one-shot, he lost it. So really, like Kryon there, he has more health, he has the chance of winning that, but in all honesty, that was just good plays on both sides. It doesn't really matter. Thermite didn't have much that he needed to do. Any shot anywhere on the body of the Jaeger would be enough. And that's secret. Closing this gap now. And now becomes a five versus four situation. <laughs> so, Navi is now saying they want to go down to basement again, and they can because in Pro League, you have to wait in between two rounds before you can go back to a site you won. So you win church, you then go master, you then go cash, you can now go back to church. So, with that. The only change they're making is they're sw they're bringing a Cade this time. Can't remember who I can't remember who they brought last time, and they're bringing a Jaeger instead of Alibi. So, and then the exact same setup of uh, Kibana, IQ, Thatcher, and Thermite coming out from Secret. So, reinforce this wall and then open it up so that you can impact trick it. Reinforce this wall right here so that you can uh, so that you can't just rush into B. Reinforce these two walls. They're reinforcing right here so it provides a little bit of cover for them from blue. And then they get two they get the blue hatch, they get the what is it? The bar hatch and then they get the bar hatch right here and then they get the kitchen hatch. So if I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, those are the ten reinforcements used. So with that, this is where you start to worry, right? Because Navi is a they're now going. Secret's now going for a push. And I, so Fonkers is setting up this claymore, so that nobody can rotate up these this ladder. It kind it used to be a bit better. It used to be a lot better, because you before you they made the map changes, you could only go up the main stairs or this ladder. So by putting a claymore here, you couldn't get rid of it, and you can only go up the main stairs, which was always being covered. You have the best opportunity, and had the best opportunity of slowly slipping away. And I think they made a call that nobody's roaming, and they're just holding. Everyone's just holding below. Now, it'd still be in it, but for the time being, Navi's fate is still in their hands. The fate of both Secret and Navi lie literally in their own hands. You don't find yourself in a position like Penta was or like G2 were earlier today, where you're relying on a misstep and misplay from opponents. If Navi wins here, they get themselves out of that last. So Buck is doing his usual bucking. Meepy is trying to get the hatches. However, their Cade, there's a Cade charge on them, so he can't. I have no idea why a smoke canister just went off. I think that was probably just a misclick. So, because that's not going to do anything. For the latter half of season eight, everybody kept saying, myself included, that yeah, they're probably not going to win this matchup. Yeah, they're probably not going to win this matchup. On paper, they should lose it, and they kept winning. This time around, I don't know if that same run is there for them. And if they can't win this round, I think that momentum firmly falls in Secret's favor. And if I'm a fan of Navi, I get very worried very fast. So, with that said, you've gone through half of the round, and as is typical on a church defense, every single person's going to... So, Buck bucked open the floor so that if anybody tries to impact trick this, he can kill them. And now Meepy has come around with Hibana to open up the hatch. And so what happens there is Chaos gets shot, and because of that, his aim gets jittery, and he just runs out. And because his aim was jittery, he missed his impact grenade, and the hatch gets opened. So although they could have gotten the kill there, they bring smoke down to 1 HP, and they get the hatch open. So they did exactly what they wanted. 
Now they want to open up the church wall. However, Banatrick is a little premature on the bandit batteries. Stiz and Corey playing a game of back and forth on this wall. You also have the electric claws from Lazo and wow. So Stizzy knows that the bandit tricks are coming out. He's trying to just bait them out and he's trying to bait out some impact tricks as well. He's he's doing a very good job as a thermite right here. And he's and then he says, I'm probably not gonna be able to get this, so he just goes off. He just runs away. He's gonna go put that somewhere else. So 30 seconds left is a 5 versus 5 situation and Team Secret they have basically opened up everything they want to except for the uh, except for church wall so they're now kind of just going to have to walk into sight so the, Navi knows that they're coming from Navi knows that they're trying to they're trying to go from blue so they have three people stacked up here from Secret and this one smoke canister is stopping all that Rips is playing behind here, so he can. They're gonna have to kill him, and then Crying is holding a uh, crossfire. So this is kind of a bad call from Secret, where they uh, they stacked up too much in one area, and were just and was just hoping that they can run in for kills. And now it turns into a three versus one, and. Secret wins because they all tried to go in from one area. So overall, that was just Team Secret. They tried to all just run in and didn't work. Didn't happen. The bigger thing is that Team Secret can't get three points. CCT worked better over on views. So with a cash CCTV defense. Okay, so now it's match point. And Team Navi. Secret, they they need points. They need to get out of relegation. If Navi wins this, then hey, I need to check the Liquidpedia page because yeah, I'm trying to remember who they had to beat because I thought they I thought they won against Navi here. No, okay, so no. So Secret loses here. And it's not that surprising because if you if you notice their Secret is going in kinda they're going with a strat in mind, but their overall execution of it is is being kind of flawed. Realized that while he was able to stop the hard destruction with those two impact grenades, he ultimately paid for it with his life, and it wasn't worthwhile. This is an adjustment from Navi that could actually be significant enough to give them a much better advantage in this round. Much better outlook here for Navi, and you can see the drones coming in from Leon will identify the rips as a legion. Should be playing at the top of those cash stairs. There goes your legion mine and a frag grenade going to be cooked. It's gonna be launched towards Pivotal Bandit. Okay, so normally Banish. Banner tricking happens around here, and Leon knows he can't just run out here and start bucking because of the because of rips on the stairs. So he instead wants to use his nades for that. However, I'm however no one's droning and just says, okay, he's not even banner tricking. So if someone had just done that, he could have sa saved all his nades. And Stizzy doesn't even know. So. Now Leon just goes and he just pre-fires and he hits a nice shot on Rips. So basically for what happened here was they weren't applying enough pressure in garage and all of the and uh, Leon, so Leon overall he did a good job there where he was able to stop the bandit tricking because he was able to gun down rips on top of the stairs. He then 
was able to apply pressure that you can't ban a trick there. However, due to a lack of communication, Stizzy wasn't able to get his uh, Stizzy wasn't able to get the charge down. And I don't know what Elements is doing. Maybe those charges already there. But why Thatcher isn't already over here with Stizzy, I'm I don't know. And then a ping comes out, and Cryon isn't being contested at all from Garage. And because of that, he was able to just gun down uh, Leon through the wall. Inches down the cash, or sorry, the garage rafter stairs, still able to collect a kill onto Leon all the same. So now Secret have to re-identify their push. They need to push out of Cryon from inside. So now Secret's in a four versus four, and they can't open up the wall because they're no longer applying pressure below, and because they're not applying pressure below, Bandit can now Bandit trick, and they have no way of getting rid of that. Sounds like the wall did get opened up on the side of Secret. Actually, I'm not sure. Just unsure. Uh, it might not have actually. No, they nope. were okay, yeah. to get the wall open either. Basically, this is just showing that Team Secret, they, they're not comfortable attacking. So, because this, this is the first step. This is step one. Open this wall. If you can't open this wall, you're probably not going to win the... You're probably not going to win when you attack Even this site. In the midst of that chaos, Corey able to ban a trick long enough that it scares Secret onto a full rotation. So, Secret's probably going to lose this based off of that. Flexing. I hope that was a pun. I really do. I wanted to weigh in, but you were in a good groove, so I didn't want to jump right in. But if there's anybody who's flexing, yeah, it's probably crying. That guy's mad jack. Pretty effing build, yeah. yeah. So, with Secret just standing pat for the time being, Navi has 45 seconds to claim a massive victory over their foe down in the relegation spot and move Secret into that feared 8th position. You can still hear the end of active bandit trick. Secret so, Secret has just stalled out. Stalling. They don't know what to do at this posi at this point. They couldn't open the wall. They can't open this wall over here because the there's a bandit here. They have this open, so guys can throw impact grenades. There's a crossfire on this door. They don't have garage control, so two and a half minutes in, they have really, they have none of the map control they need. They have no, they don't have the walls open they need. They don't have garage control, and based on that, they're probably not going to. Yep, then my charge gets destroyed there, and actually no, I missed. Okay. <laughs> but that really doesn't change much there. Still too many crossfires. So, yeah, it's... This is probably not going to go in Secret's way. And the thought process is, let's just jump in through windows and run in through doors and hope for the best. And at a high level of play, that's probably not going to work. So, it's over. So really, that was just a game where Secret, they couldn't play well together, and the Na'Vi could, and that's really it. Na'Vi, you saw in their attack of Cash, they could open out that wall every single time without too much difficulty. However, Secret, I mean, they struggled here. They couldn't... This is what they opened, this little wall, and they opened that at like 45 seconds. So they really just... They looked lost on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is a map which you have to be able to work together with. You have to be able to work with your team, work together, work well, and Secret didn't have that. And I mean, there's a reason why they're in seventh place right now. And they're going to be fighting for their relegation spot. So, yeah. I mean, I hope you learned something from this kind of thing. You can kind of see what mistakes were made from the teams and kind of what worked, what didn't work. And I'll try and find some more games. Like I'll try and find a, I'll try and find a good match, which I can show you where people went right and went wrong for each of the maps, so because if you have a basic understanding, it will help you improve. And with that, I'll be ending this.